<laughs> hey, over the weekend, you were going to maybe go out on the Coin 6 boat, did you? I was. No, I didn't get to. In fact, uh, so for the Blues Festival, Stan had the boat out there. You, you know, all those boats. They were doing it right there because they could just take a dip in the water yeah. and cool down. So I just got to wave to them from a distance and just burn up in the heat with you and yeah. Jeff. But at least it was a success. We did really, really yeah. well. I'm so glad they raised so much money. And it's thanks to everybody who participated. Even in this heat, and the heat rolls on, uh, take a look at the numbers out there right now. We're at 92 in Portland. Uh, and through the gorge, we're in the mid 90s there. Uh, not as bad as it can be, so definitely getting a little bit of a break, but uh, we're still talking extreme temperatures for this time of the year. Feeling pretty good in wine country right now, where temperatures there in the 80 in the 80s. So through the gorge, you can see a nice little breeze, some wind surfers out there. That's a, the view from Skamania Lodge. Here's Stoller Estates, and you can see the view there. Always love this view here, looking out across the uh, the fields of Pinot Noir growing out that way, uh, and it is feeling a little better too. Again, in the 80s, but where it might feel the best to you is along the coast, and that's where temperatures have been the 60s all up and down. This is from Lincoln City, thanks to our Oregon Beach Vacations camera here. It's looking a little gray, a little clearing out as you look back on the horizon there. And so, as the sun goes down, it may bring in a sliver of light as it goes down. It could be a pretty nice looking sunset. I think Astoria is going to have a beautiful sunset too on the northern end of the coast. So, if you're on the coast, Keep your eyes to the west as we approach 9 o'clock tonight. All right, let's talk about this extreme heat here in Portland. And uh, on both sides, when it comes to the heat and when it comes to the rain, lack of rain today makes the 33rd day in a row that we haven't seen it. And as far as 9 degree days go, today makes, makes number 8 that we have hit 90 in Portland or have gone even higher than that. So that's the second longest stretch that we have had at reaching 8 days in a row of 9 degrees or higher. In fact, the last time we did this was back in 1966. Seven, and then the longest stretch outside of that was 10 days in a row, and we may come close to beating that because it looks like it's going to stay hot for a few more days before we finally get a break. Uh, thunderstorms are bringing in a little bit of a break from some of the heat down towards Bend and in central Oregon, but quite a bit of lightning uh, up towards Redmond right now. Between there and Madras, these thunderstorms are slowly heading to the east, dumping tons of rain, so definitely a welcome sight with the rain, but watch for ponding on the roads, and of course be careful, don't be out in that lightning. That can be very dangerous. Dangerous. Storms will die down after sunset, but we're going to keep mountain storm chances going and even across central Oregon going uh, each day pretty much through the weekend where they'll pop up as things heat up in the afternoon and then they'll kind of settle on down for everyone else. So we're just looking dry. So 92 in Portland right now. We're in the 90s all up and down the valley. Tonight lows only in the mid 60s, our normal low 55. So we are still staying way above average. It's going to be another warm night. It'll be mainly clear until first thing in the morning. Then we'll have a few morning clouds around the valley. Those will clear out quickly. We're at 70 degrees by 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then we get to the afternoon and we're talking highs right around 9 degrees. Thanks to some of that cloud cover moving in a little bit more moisture in the morning. Temperatures could be a couple of degrees cooler tomorrow in many locations, but still quite hot for this time of the year. For the coast, we're staying in the upper 60s to low 70s for highs with clouds in the morning gradually becoming partly sunny for the afternoon. I-5, a mild start, but a nice hot finish in the low to mid 90s. And then central and eastern Oregon, we're starting off in the 50s and we're back well into the 90s tomorrow afternoon watching for storm chances out towards the Blue Mountains and along the Cascades through the gorge, more sunshine, high in the mid 90s, and the winds will be gusty uh, 15 to 25, gusting to about 30 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday, we're back to the 90s. It does heat up a little bit more. Thursday, low 90s for highs again. But this heat wave is going to be pulling away from here. And by Friday, we finally start to see some of that cooler air that's along the coast right now kick into the valley. And so that's when we're talking highs back into the 80s and in the upper 80s to low 90s, even east of the Cascades. And guess what? Here we are. Saturday, it sticks around. Sunday, it sticks around. In fact, it could linger into the first of next week, so looking pretty good there. So for the next three days, just hot and dry, lots of sunshine around, lows in the 60s. We head into the weekend, we cool things off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday. In fact, Sunday, keeping a close eye on Sunday for perhaps even some rain chances in the valley. So keep your fingers crossed that that will happen, but at least we're going to get a break from the heat. Earlier, we were talking about that we had the story about Happy Christmas in England, <laughs> and yes. we were. Uh, tweeted that yes, people in England say Happy Christmas, Happy also Christmas. in Canada. So yeah. all right, learn something new every day. <laughs>